outrageous and I feel like my hair is not meant to be parted in the middle girl it's just not meant to it's always like sticking up is everything okay you should go meet me for right now but we're on our way for Noah's first birthday shoot like girl somebody pinch me like is this real life is he really about to turn one like this is just so crazy to me and I am just so proud I'm so grateful to God that we have a healthy baby boy that's about to turn one he's so big he's so smart he is the happiest baby ever and I know I'm gonna cry today. Uh, but the reason why I also got ready was because we're gonna have a mommy and, well, mommy, daddy, and me moment. They're called like mommies and me uh, photo shoots. Aside of his first birthday photo shoot, today's been a little rough. I'm like, why does this always happen? You think you got it all down? We worked around Noah's nap time. Like we literally, she literally asked me like, are you sure? Cause we had said three. She's like, you sure you want to do three or do you want to push to four? You know, like what's his nap time? And his nap time is usually like around 12. I was like, no, actually 3 p.m. is perfect. By 2 p.m. he'll be waking up and he'll be up thriving by three. Today out of all days, completely like was just fighting his sleep. I even at some point just texted her. I'm like, you know what? My son's kind of like an hour behind on his nap. Let's just do four if that's if that's good with you. And she was like, perfect. And Noah was just not going to sleep. So I was like, you know what, girl? My son's not falling asleep. Like at this point, we could still stick to three or whatever time works for you. And she was like, no worries. Like, let's do 3.30. <laughs> so we are on our way right now. And 3.30 it is. Like we're going to get there at 3.30. The reason why I wanted to also do pictures with him was because we don't have a lot of like family pictures together. We did actually no. We did do a shoot when he was about like three months old. A family picture but I want to recreate kind of like a similar vibe but wearing the dress the brown iconic dress that I wore for my maternity shoot with this photographer so I really want to recreate that the three of us and I think it's gonna be so beautiful because now Noah's gonna be in it and another one he was in my stomach so we're excited we're on our way there's a lot a lot of traffic so we're like a couple minutes behind just a couple minutes but yeah, I'm so excited and I'll see y'all there. Mr. Noah knocked out, just as I thought. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. You guys, I'm here. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That is so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness, why am I getting emotional? Oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We just wrapped up the mommy and me shoot, but now we're gonna do his little birthday shoot. Ah, look how cute! The little cake. Oh my goodness! Hola, mi vida. Hola, corazón. Hi. What's wrong? You're beautiful. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. That was it. Hey. Hi. Uh oh. Hi, hermoso. Cometelo. Cometelo, mi amor. Yeah, he's getting. <laughs> he's like, let me get a good piece. <laughs> Andale. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> pastel. Wow. Hi, <laughs> Hey, hi. He's like fully into it. <laughs> Noah. Hi, <laughs> baby. Hi. <laughs> no way! Good job! Hey Queen! Today is 
is Friday. How are you? I don't know when you're watching this girl. So I'm not sure exactly what the plans are today. I think we're gonna go out, but right now I was just working on some stuff. I have some deadlines. I have some content I need to turn in. I still need to work on mixed house after this. Fun little fact, like I really love mixed house. This is not sponsored, um, but I have that to do. And it's actually a really fun sponsor that I love doing because I actually really um, love decorating my home. So I just need to like film some content for that. But other than that, you guys, we've been kind of moving things around the house. This other living room I have with a fireplace, we made, we just turned it into a dining room. I'm just really trying to get a feel for the home. We've been here two years and I, I just feel like this living room, like truly we were not using it. You guys know if you've been following me, a lot of my grieving process, I was able to turn it into Brian Cito's living room and that was really special within that time. It helped me out and then eventually it became like Brian Cito slash Noah's room. It was literally the playroom and now that Noah is a lot older, we just uh, kind of figured it wasn't working out because he's always with us in like the main living room, which this is also a little living room, but it's a lot smaller. So we always just imagined the playroom to be here, but we turned it into a dining room eventually because we just would never never use it naturally we want our baby with us so we can keep an eye on him so we really wanted to make use out of our space and this was just like always an empty room that was just really collecting like dust so we turned it into an actual formal dining room kind of because the area where our dining table was I felt a little snug so I'll kind of show you guys like around maybe I don't know but I've just been kind of like moving things around also we have some projects we want to still get done before Noah's birthday because he's going to be one already, girl. It's a lot, okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? You guys, look at my house. It's an actual disaster. This is this is where Noah hangs out. So here's a dining room, and this is this is Noah. This is Noah's room. Ah, he literally took over my baby. But it's just so much more convenient, you guys. We're always over here, and over here just felt like if we were over here, we were just. Far. like it just it never felt right you know but I just feel like it makes sense for this to be the dining room just because truly we did not use it for anything else when we had the couch over here it truly was just a room at some point that just was collecting dust and it felt pointless to me to have a room that we were not going to use so we turned it into a dining room and I have a couple plans for it we still have Brian Cito's little table over there with his pictures but I almost feel in general I do want to change it up and really have it feel like a dining room but this is what we have for now and we are going to be installing a chandelier here the only thing that I've never really understood about this room is the fireplace. Like, it's not symmetrical. I have to put, like, the table, obviously, towards, like, the middle of the fireplace. But we also have, like, this big gap here. But, like, I don't want to put the dining table in the center of the room because if I do that, then we're not going to be symmetrical to the fireplace. So... That's the only thing that I'm like, what do we do about this when it comes to installing the chandelier? I don't want the chandelier to be like in the center and looking like off from the fireplace. You feel me? So that's the situation right now. But this is the dining room. It's pretty big. So hopefully we could renovate it one of these days. I really just want to like completely transform it. We'll see if that happens. I first want to add the chandelier but my house like i've just been trying to clean it literally i am not even kidding like i'm actually trying to think of like if i've seen my house like spotless and I, I don't think i have like in a while i'm just being real like every single day i feel like i'm like trying to clean something new and i've told brian i'm like look i think we're in a spot like where we need the help like i think we should like hire like a cleaning service because i almost it feels like every single day we're cleaning and when noah goes to sleep like we'll pick up we'll clean but there's still like you know y'all know if you know you know like it's a non-stop thing and hopefully today i can also dedicate to cleaning because i feel like literally that's what our lives have been like trying to consist of forever and i just feel like i cannot see the house like a hundred percent spotless like it just does not exist but right now i'm just going to pick up a little bit and just try to tidy up that's all i think what i'm trying to do and then we'll figure out the plans because i feel like right now with the house i can't really think straight girl i can't like i need a clean home to 
have a clear mind. I have been like in my senora era. Like, look at my plants. I got these plants just because I've always wanted to really deck out this patio. And I love these flowers. They're actually really easy to upkeep. Recently, they, I, I literally noticed a couple days ago that they were getting sad. And I was like, oh my god, it's time I water them. But I feel like the pot, I remember reading that it's like, it's meant to hold the water in there. So you don't water them as much. So it's like really easy to upkeep them. Because the water still is like in there. I don't know how to explain it. Look how cute. I got two. They look beautiful. And I even got this little wind chime. And I thought it would be crazier with sound, but it's actually not. It's really peaceful. And I love my little flowers. Like, I want to do more to this backyard. I even want to get, like, little pots, like, to put on the ground. But I have so many plans for this backyard. And there's so much I want to do, but we don't have time because of Noah's birthday. It's, like, in a few weeks. So we'll see what we can get to realistically like i don't think we could do much i do want to paint the house we already have a painter uh we're just waiting to get approval from hoa we do live in a hoa which i'm noticing like kind of is kind of hard you know because it's like if i lived in a normal house where i didn't live in a community i wouldn't have to like ask for permission and it just kind of sucks right because it's like these are home improvements like it's your home you're the homeowner like why do i have to ask so i guess that's like the only thing that i'm like realizing now with like the exterior i have to get permission and i'm like um cringe like i have to get permission to do different changes because we want to change the fencing we want to paint the house just a few things that we want to do to the exterior of the home and it just sucks like when you have to ask for permission so right now we're trying to actually fill out forms and stuff so hopefully we get that approval before his birthday you know just a couple to-do lists i am coming down with like a cold i don't know what is it something's going around i know noah's been like the past couple days he's a lot better today but i did notice was it yesterday i think it was last night where he was like not feeling well like i could just tell because he was like a little bit fussy and i remember telling brian yesterday i'm like i don't feel well either i was working on actually submitting something also yesterday and i just remember pushing through like girl like just get to work do what you gotta do but i genuinely like i was like down so bad yesterday i physically just felt exhausted and then right now too i just feel like i don't have the energy my throat is clearly sore like you could just hear it i thought i was feeling better but like even i don't know if you guys have ever noticed because i have the apple watch when you're sick your heart rate goes up so <laughs> earlier i went upstairs to get ready and i was so out of breath and i'm like looking at my apple watch and my heart rate was so high and i i, I just remember one time too <clears throat> I actually had gotten COVID. This was like a couple years ago. I had got COVID and I literally remember my heart rate was so high. This was before I had the Apple Watch. I just had like the oximeter and I remember my heart rate was super high and I had just woken up. Like if you guys ever see your heart rate when you're sick, try not to freak out. It's literally just your body. It's like in fighting mode. So your heart rate just goes I've been like trying to pick up and stuff, but I just feel like I don't have the energy. Like what is going around you guys? What is it? I feel like usually when the seasons change, we naturally get sick, right? Like now that spring is here, like everybody's getting sick. I'm like, how does my hair look? Cause right now I'm just like, ugh. I'm also really dehydrated. I'm like, I need to just drink water. I think I have like the vitamin C packs. I had got them last time. I would always get super sick when I was uh, breastfeeding or like pumping. Same thing, breastfeeding, pumping. And I would always get super sick because I feel like I was like low on vitamins or something. Like my immune system was so low. And I remember buying the vitamin C packs and I realized I couldn't even like drink them, I think. I don't think you could like drink them while breastfeeding. So I know we have some. That's my day right now. So I, I've been trying to pick up because I want to show you guys the room right here where we had the dining table. And I'm kind of clueless. I'm like, what do I do with it? We already bought a chandelier. I guess I can show you the chandelier like when I show you the room. Uh, we haven't installed the chandelier or anything. But now we have two chandeliers we have to install. So I'm like, we got to get to it now. Okay, we're going to head out right now. And 
Noah right here. He's ready to go. He has his little bluey that came in an Easter basket that was sent to him, and he loves this. Like we opened that Easter basket like over a week ago, and mm. he no, like almost more than that, huh? Is it? He's been obsessed. Like every single day, he's holding it like this. Yeah. Like bluey. Who is this? And we're here. The app room ass, y'all. Where's the translucent? Oh no, I use the 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 vanilla one. Yeah. Okay, I just went to Ulta, I picked up some setting powder, and look what I got! The Kylie Perfume, girl. It's called Cosmic. I just sprayed myself with some, and it actually smells really good. But we're stopping by Home Goods. I just got a couple things I want to look at. Okay, we got to Home Goods. We have about like 15 minutes to shop, but I'm looking for a cutting board. Because anytime I like want to just do something quick, I always have to wash like a big old one. I'm looking for something small. I think I am going to go for this like vibe instead of the wooden one, because... You know the wooden vibes collects a lot of like um, stuff in there. See, this is cute, but I need like a handle. I think I'm just gonna have to go with this one. That's good, right, babe? The because I'm trying to see. Oh, there's this one. This is bigger though. I kind of like this one. I feel like this might be complicated with like the ridges and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think like easy, like wash and go. Yeah. I'm trying to think like when I wash it quick, like <sighs> next. They're really the same size. Yeah, this will do. Update you guys. It is kind of late, but I just wanted to come downstairs. I feel like I'm making this a routine. Like every night, I just come down and try to pick up as much as I can. It's because I have like a bunch of clothes on the couch that I had gone through when I was going through my bag of donations. There was some stuff where I was like, <laughs> I kind of want that back. So I am just like going sick. through it. I'm so sick. I've been coughing so much that my C-section scar is hurting at this point. So I'm gonna make myself something to drink to stay hydrated and then continue like picking up this clothes because I just like, it's giving me anxiety seeing this mess. But that's how my night's going so far. We just got this basket. Why does it look so freaking huge? Well, it is it big, is but though. it looks so much bigger freaking camera. Like I could fall in here. But either way, yeah. So I'm gonna grab all his little toys and put them up in here. Oh God. Like, do y'all see how big that is? <laughs> like, this whole freaking toy could just go in there. I feel like this toy... You're like, throw that in there. 